guys, welcome to Teen Entertainment Network, or TEN as we like to call it. So the year is almost over, and a lot of movies have came out, but we're just going to talk about some of the movies that we enjoyed. Um, I guess I'll start with the movie that I really enjoyed. I thought, there's a few that I really liked uh, um, from the year, but um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. Um, I've said this before in previous videos, but Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, um, but I thought The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a really good movie. Um, Andrew Garfield plays Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Um, Gwen, well, Emma Stone <laughs> plays Gwen Stacy, um, Peter Parker's love interest. And um, it, it, the whole cast, Jamie Foxx was in it also. He played the villain. And Dane DeHaan, who's a new actor on the scene, he played the Green Goblin, who is um, a huge villain. He was big in the previous Spider-Man trilogy. But I was really excited about the movie. Um, I went to see it, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was one of the best-made movies of the year. Um, I'm big on graphics, and I love to watch a movie that has great graphics. That I like 3D movies also, but I don't think... 3D should be used on everything. I think 3D should just be used on movies that call for 3D. Like a movie like Spider-Man where they're doing like stunts and they're blowing up stuff. The chemistry between um, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy was so genuine because as we all know, Andrew Garfield and Gwen Stacy, I mean, I keep calling her Gwen Stacy. That's her character in the movie. <laughs> Andrew Gar Garfield and Emma Stone, they're a couple in real life. So I like that about the movie. I didn't see the movie myself, but um, from what I heard, the scene in which, you know, um, Gwen Stacy, Emma Stone's character, the scene in which she passes away, like, I heard that was pretty powerful. And um, oh, I know a couple of my friends, like, they actually started crying. So I do want to go back and watch that. Yeah, like, it was a really powerful scene. Um, I was a big fan of the comic book series. Also, I love comic books. Um, mm -hmm. But I was a big fan of the com comic book series, and I knew she was going to die. I knew she was going to die. It wasn't a surprise to me at all. I knew she was going to die in the second movie. Um, it was only right that she died in the second movie, and I'm glad the movie honored the comic book. Um, but the scene still gave me chills just because it's Emma Stone. Emma Stone was dying off a huge movie like series. This year, um, I saw a lot of movies that came out in the summer just because I'm busy during the regular school year. Um, but a movie I really enjoyed was 22 Jump Street, starring Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. Um, usually, sequels they're known to be just like just okay. They're not, you know, they don't really do the first film justice. But I feel like this film. It was hilarious. Like, I felt like it was a good sequel. Um, I was engaged, and I was entertained the whole time, and I loved Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill together. I think they work really well as a pair together. Um, I hear that there's a rumor going around that there might be a third I heard that. Movie, so 23 Jump Street, um, <laughs> but we don't really know for sure yet. But hopefully, you know, if it does come out, it'll be good as the first and the second. Yeah, like, I heard that rumor also. I think it would be a good uh, movie. I haven't seen the first one um, or the second one yet, but a lot of people say it, say it's really funny, and I should check it out. Another movie I really liked this year was Maleficent, and I just saw it, so... Okay. Like, you, said, you said you saw it also. What did you think about it? I saw it a while ago, so it's a little hard for me to remember, but I just, I love Angelina Jolie, she's fantastic, and I just really like how we get to see, you know, the whole story of Sleeping Beauty from Maleficent's point of view, um, even though she's, like, portrayed as the villain, the movie kind of sheds a different light on that, so I really like that, um, I really like the whole, like, dark theme, and I like the effects, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm big on effects, like I said. Um, but the movie was really good. I I was I wasn't surprised about it because it's an Angelina Jolie movie, and you can only expect a plus work from Angelina. But I thought um, I liked the modern spin on the whole Sleeping Beauty movie. When I was watching it, I was like, because Sleeping Beauty, the cartoon movie, it was one of my favorite Disney movies as a kid. And I, when I saw the of how they did it with the real life movie, I was I, I was pleasantly surprised by it because 
it wasn't true to the Sleeping Beauty on the the cartoon. It was a new, like he said, Maleficent's point of view. And I like how Sleeping Beauty, who, she's played by Elle Fanning, and I like how they built a relationship um, t throughout the movie, and they became basically family at the end of the movie. She was her godmom, I guess. That's what she was calling her. But I thought it was a good movie, and the effects were crazy. Yeah, it's it's one of those movies that I definitely want to go back and watch. Mm -hmm. Another movie I um, thought was a great movie um, this year was The Diver Divergent with Shane Lee Woodley and Theo James. Um, it was an awesome movie. I w I'm a big um, fan of the book series, so I, I read all of them. I'm on the third one now. I'm not finished with it, but I read all of the books, basically. And... I thought it was such a good movie. I thought Shailene Woodley did such an amazing job. I'm such a big fan of Shailene Woodley, too. I think she's one of my favorite actresses um, from this this young generation. I feel like she's one of the most genuine actresses from the young um, this upcoming generation of actors and actresses. But I thought it was a good movie. I like the effects and the storyline and... Kate Winslet was in it also, and she's an amazing actress, and whatever she does is awesome, and A plus word. Um, but what did you, have you seen the movie yet? I haven't seen it, but um, I was going to ask, did it stay true to like the books, or did it kind of do its own thing? It's, it definitely stayed true to the books, um, to the book. With some movies, um, you don't really see that. Uh, Harry Potter did, um, did an amazing job with staying true to the books. Um, Twilight, I feel like they kind of went off course, kind of, with yeah. um, the books. Um, but um, Divergent did a really good job. And speaking of Divergent, Insurgent, I think the trailer comes out soon. Um, the movie's supposed to come out in 2015, and I'm so excited to see what it's about, like what, what the trailer's going to look like. The, Insurgent's going to be a good movie. I'm excited for that. Yeah, so definitely something to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, what movies are you excited for for in 2014 or 2015? Um, so right now, two movies are in theaters that I do want to see. Um, Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey and Jessica Chastain. Um, I heard it's amazing. I heard Matthew McConaughey gives an amazing performance. Um, the only thing I kind of know what it's about, it involves outer space. Um, the only kind of general complaint that I'm hearing is that it's close to three hours long, so it is a lengthy movie, but I definitely do want to go and see that sometime soon. And then um, another movie that's out right now is Big Hero 6 by Disney. Um, so I guess it's like a new superhero, and I heard it was a cute movie. So I'm not sure if I want to go see that in theaters and maybe wait until it you know, comes out on DVD, but um, yeah. those two right now are out. I don't know. Yeah, that's um awesome choices. Big Hero Six. I probably wouldn't go see it in a theater just because I'm not big on going to see kids movie because it's a kids movie. Um, I'm not big on seeing them in theaters. Um, last kids movie I saw in theaters was Toy Story Three. Um, which I'm a big Toy Story fan, fan, so I had to go see that. And there's a rumor. Well, it's actually confirmed that they're making a Toy Story story four. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm excited but, about too, but I, I'm kind of wondering how they're going to, what they're going to do with it, because it seemed like to all wrap up nicely, and like it kind of came to a close with Annie going off to college, so I'm interested to see where they take that. Yeah, I think that they're going to focus on a new story with Bonnie, and they're going to develop her character, and I heard that the movie is going to be, um, it's going to be a love story of some sort. So I'm interested in that and who they're going to bring as a love interest. I'm saying my guess is that they're going to bring a love interest for Buzz Lightyear because Woody already has one with Jesse. Right. So, I don't know. But back to Interstellar. I want to see that movie so bad. I think that's at the top of my must-see list. Um, I'm a big fan of Anne Hathaway and everything she does. So I want to see it just because of her. Um, I love everything she does. She's amazing. Yeah, I would have to say that's definitely at the top of my list, too. And then um, coming out later this month is The Next Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 1. 
Um, so looking forward to that. And something else I do want to see is um, the imitation game with Benedict Cumberbatch. I, I love him. He's adorable. So <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Like, I think Jennifer Lawrence is amazing, and um, everything she does with Hunger Games, she has taken the series so far, and it's nice that we kind of grew up with the series. It's, uh, it's the last one, right? Well, not the last one, part one of the last one, right? Right. Yeah, I'm excited about that movie also. Um, but another movie that I'm excited for is... It doesn't... I don't think... It doesn't come out until 2015, I think, but... Um, the Star Wars trilogy, like the next Star Wars movie, I I really didn't get into the series like that. Um, I did when I was younger. I used to watch them, and I liked the imagery they were doing and everything with the FX. Um, but I really want to see it because of Lupita Nyong'o. She's like the new It Girl, one of the new It Girls on the scene, and she was in, she won a Oscar last, was it last year? I think it was last year. Yeah, it was last year for her movie, 12 Years a Slave. But I want to see that movie, um, mainly because of her. Um, I want to see what kind of role they give her. Well, I think that's it for our favorite movies, movies we're excited for video. So make sure you comment below and tell us what movies you are excited for. Um, we talked about Big Hero 6, we talked about Star Wars, we talked about Interstellar. Um, so just comment below and tell us what you think of those movie, movies, if you have seen them, and what movies you are excited for um, coming up in 2014 or 2015. Um, make sure you subscribe to us and follow us on all social media. Follow us on Twitter at I am and be on the lookout for the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.